One thing that people tend to gloss over when it comes to choosing a cube as a main is exactly how their pre-existing lubes are already going to react to that cube itself. That's exactly what we're going to be covering today. Hey guys, what's up? It's me, the Cuban Bear, and welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be reviewing all four of the cosmic lubes you can get on speedcubeshop.com and seeing which one is right for you. Let's get started. So if you're new to cubing, you probably don't know what I mean when I say lube. Lube essentially allows your cube to perform at peak performance. There's less friction and therefore there's more speed. One thing that you can do is you can actually change the feeling of a cube depending on the thickness of the lube that you decide to use. You guys saw in my recent unboxing is that I unboxed the Maylong M and I unboxed all four of the cosmic lubes you can get on speedcubeshop.com. In this video, I'm going to be telling you guys exactly how they performed. With that being said, let's actually find out what speedcubeshop actually offers in terms of lube. So Speaky Shop offers four cosmic lubes. These are the lubes that they use to set up cubes professionally in their own custom service. The lubes are Martian, Galaxy, Nebula, and Lunar. Martian is a pretty standardized lube. On Speaky Shop, it has a ranking of speed of nine, thickness of 12, and gumminess of five. The Galaxy lube has a speed of eight, thickness of four, and gumminess of seven. Nebula has a speed of seven, thickness of five, and gumminess of 10. And Lunar lube has a speed of 10, thickness of zero, and has gumminess of two. So you can already tell right off the bat that if you want a lube that will make your cube faster, Lunar is the way to go. However, if you want to make it slower and have a more controllable and stable feeling, you want to go with Nebula. That's just looking at the numbers, but how do these lubes actually perform? So for these tests, I went ahead and took apart the cube four times, lubed it four individual times, did an average of 100, and I got my results. Let's take a look. When I lubed the cube only with Martian, I found out that there was a mushy, semi-clicking feeling when I was using this cube. The speed was incredibly high, but I can get some catches just because it was getting a little bit too fast for me, and I was overshooting quite a bit. My average of 100 that I did on this cube was a 17.982, and my best was a 12.992. That's actually really good, all things considered. I average around the high 17, so getting a pretty average 17 second average was no surprise to me. However, the single is pretty interesting. I got a 12.992 single, which is which is pretty fast considering my average. And in that soft in particular, I noticed that the cube had a little bit of that gumminess, which helped me to restabilize the cube when I was doing a little bit of the faster turning. So when I put this cube at its max speed, I can actually still control it even though it's going really fast. Let's go ahead and take a look at Galaxy Loop. For Galaxy, I found out that there was an even more mushier feeling in the cube, and there was a more tactile, fast, controllable feeling. There wasn't that much overshooting, which is good, and the cube had an overall denser, solid feeling. My average for this cube was a 17.949, and my best was a 12.994, so I was 0 0.002 off of what Martian gave me, which is by itself great, which means there's not that much difference between my best times in that situation. However, if we look at the averages, we can see that I'm actually going lower. I went down by 0 0.052, which is pretty good. I actually liked it a little bit more than Martian just because it gave me more of a controllable feeling. So when I was turning rough, the cube was more resilient. When I was turning smoother, the cube was more lighter. Let's go ahead and check out Nebula. So Nebula is the slowest and thickest lube. And you would think that I would get the worst times and I would probably not like it. However, this lube really surprised me. With this cube, I got a quiet and very plush feeling. I got the densest and the gummiest feeling, however, I got the most control and I got the most enjoyable, dense feeling out of it. This is pretty interesting coming from the GAN XS, which is a really light cube. Even with my thickest lube at the time, which is Speed Cube Shop Weight 3, it still felt really light. However, with Nebula, I'm getting a much denser feeling in the cube itself. Let's take a look at my average. My average was a 17.64 and my best was a 13.216. So here's the most interesting part. I got the best average with this one, but I also have the worst individual solve. What's going on here? I think the most important thing to look at here is the average because a single is purely based on luck and I don't think that's something that should be taken into consideration. So you can see that from the results that the Nebula Louvre actually responded really well to my turning and allowed me to get a better average overall. 
Let's take a look at our last lube, which is the fastest lube, Lunar. I've been using Lunar for a long time, so I'm very comfortable with this lube, and I know exactly what I need to do in order to set my cube up correctly with this lube. So I found out pretty interestingly is that with the Maylong M and Lunar, I found it was the fastest, yet it was also the clickiest and loudest. There was no gumminess to really fill in the dents of the, of the cube itself, making it feel more airy, making it feel more clacky and more lighter overall. The Lunar Lube really made the cube extremely fast, but I think the Maylong is already fast as it is, so it made the cube a little bit too uncontrollable for my liking. My average was a 17.265 and my single was an 11.93. So not only did I get the best single, but I got the best average by a significant margin. This is at least an 8% decrease in my times. That is really good considering. For a three hour session of me just solving and scrambling, seeing an 8% improvement in my times, it's something that I've never really seen before, no matter how many times I set up a cube. However, that combination of Lunar and the Maylong M really brought this cube to really step it up. So we did all these tests. What does it mean? Which cube do you, which cube is right for you? If you like that dense gummy feeling and you don't mind the cube being a little bit too slow, I sincerely recommend that you either go with Nebula or Galaxy. If you want something on the lighter side of Nebula, if you want something as good as Nebula but not too slow, go with Galaxy. That's a good alternative between all three. If you have a slow puzzle and really need to speed it up, I go ahead and recommend Lunar. But let's say I have the average cube. Let's say I have the cube that has normal speed, normal corner cutting, has good controllability, it doesn't really need anything else. What can I do to it? For that, I'm gonna go ahead and recommend Martian. Martian has the speed of Lunar and the controllability of Galaxy. So when you combine those two things together, you get an overall good package, and that's exactly what you want, a good package. So which one of these lubes do I think is the best lube? Um, that's a hard choice. It really comes down to personal preference. Which cue, what lube best suits your needs? You need controllability? Go with Nebula. You want speed? Go with, go with Lunar. You want something in between? Go with Martian if you want speed. Go with Galaxy if you want controllability. Now I want to go ahead and mention that the test that I did only involved these, these lubes being used individually. I didn't combine anything. So there's still room for you to go ahead and experiment and see which kind of lube is right for you. Personally, I really like Galaxy. To me, Galaxy is the perfect all-around lube that can get all my needs done for my specific turning style. And if I had to pick one lube, I would go ahead and pick Galaxy. That's the one I recommend if you really, really just wanted my opinion on this. And that's what I pick. I'm very impressed, and I do believe that they are definitely worth checking out. Thank you once again to Speed Cube Shop for sending these cubes to me and the Maylong M. Review coming soon for that cube, so be on the lookout for that. But anyway guys, that's about it for this review and my thoughts on these lubes themselves. So if you want to go ahead and get one of these lubes, go ahead and use the discount code LUBE to get the lube for free. This is a promotion going on at SpeedCubeShop.com and it's only lasting until June 30th, which is, which is about three days after this video uploads, so you want to be fast on your shopping. <laughs> Sorry about that. But anyway guys, that is about it for my review. If you guys like my review, be sure to give the video a like, comment down below what Speak You Shout Lube you would use, and of course, subscribe. I'll see you on the next video. It's Givenber out. Peace out, guys.